Hey guys, after several months of searching for the right model, my friend has finally decided on 5E8 Tweed Twin. Since he wanted more or less an exact replica and I still haven't fully mastered the art of chassis making with chrome plating and water decals, I advise him to get a ready-to-go chassis from Cubem Doctor along with the two Jensen P12Q speakers and some other smaller parts which were shipped to my address and you will be able to see them in the next video. As for the cabinet, we'll go with a solid pine finger joint style. If you're building a replica of an existing amplifier, it's a good idea to first find the cabinet on Ubem Doctor or similar web page, since they usually show the dimensions in the description. So we'll need two boards of solid pine 50.8 by 26.7 cm and two boards 62.2 by 26.7 cm of 1.8 cm thick pine. I've got the two long boards, so now I just need to measure twice and cut once on my homemade table saw. Since my table saw is not long enough and I don't have enough space on the balcony, I needed to leave a bit of space between the two sides so I can pre-cut them freehand in order to make them short enough to fit the fence as you will see in a second. For the first few cuts it's not necessary to make them perfectly straight, rather to just make it short enough to fit my saw. When you're cutting the boards with a fence to a final size, make sure that the fence is straight and always cut the boards of the same size one after another so that the fence makes sure they are exactly the same size. This will be crucial later when you're making finger joints. For making the finger joints, I'm using Rockler XL finger joint router jig with a Craig's router table and Bosch router with a half inch router bit. The finger joint making process is pretty straightforward once you have everything set up correctly. If you're interested in how to set up the jig and the finger joint process, let me know in the comments below so I can make a dedicated video for you. The way I like to make them is to pick two boards which are the same and then just cut them with one edge aligned to the aluminum indexing key on the right side of the rocker jig. When you flip the board, make sure that you're cutting the same finger, so that the boards are symmetric. Now it's time to cut the other two boards. First pick one of the boards you've already cut and put the slot of the first finger you've made to the indexing key. Then take one of the boards you want to make the reversed fingers in and place it next to the other board. You want to press it tight and hold it when making the first cut so that it stays aligned properly. Then just place the slot you've just made to the indexing key and continue as with the first two boards.
Again, make sure that you cut the fingers in the board the same for both sides, so that they will fit later when you put them together. After you're done with the fingers, test fit the box to make sure everything is ok before you continue to the next part. When it comes to gluing the boards together, if you got long pipe clamps or any other type of long clamps, you can glue the whole box in one step. But since I don't have such option, I've decided to glue the box in two steps. The first step is to lay the box on the narrower side and leave out only the top side. Then apply the wood glue or any other similar glue and use an old credit card or similar plastic card to spread the glue evenly in thin layers. Do the same with the top piece and don't forget to apply the glue on the sides as well. When setting up the box joint it's important to make it just a hair loose, so that when you apply the glue there's enough space for the joints to come together easily. If the joints are too tight, when you apply the glue you will need to force the joints, which can cause them to break or deform. I'm using the square jigs to make sure I have more or less than 90 degrees. I like to leave the glue to dry for at least 24 hours before proceeding to the next step. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked this video. 
stay tuned for the next one where we continue with the project. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. If you would like to see more projects like this one in the future, please support me on Patreon. You can check my Patreon page in the description.